Hey squaddies and welcome to Thriving with the Sussexes. My name is Deanna and I'm here to record on all things Sussex. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with it. Hey squaddies, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever you're listening. Hello. Be sure to check out memberships. You can join if you're interested. And just like with all my information, I'll put the links inside the description box. Thanks. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, respond to the trash bloids regarding a two-year-old letter. After days of BS fun in UK tabloids, aka the UK media, aka UK correspondence, aka the welfare royals, Megan shut it all down with a response through her spokesperson. And it says, The Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus that they alone are creating. <laughs> Megan is tired of those fools across the pond. She ain't thinking about them. Honey is living her life in the present, minding her own business, making her own money, putting together her son and daughter's birthdays, while also making the world a better place and having time to support her closest friends. Who's thinking about the welfare royals? Not her. The UK tabloids are because it brings in scraps of cash. But when they add in Megan, that's where the yearly paid mortgage checks come from. The child support, alimony payments, holiday vacations, you name it. <laughs> the money is where the Sussexes resides, and they know it. And I know that they were not expecting her to say anything. The way they retracted their statements or stayed silent. <laughs> that American woman humbled them fools. She said, I'm minding my wealthy business, thinking about relevancy and not toxic welfare oils and her BS spin on old letters. Are you that desperate for my attention? Please go focus on why and, oh, and this is me saying it's not Megan. <laughs> but please go focus on Charles's other side piece. I'm sure he would like to share some words or talk about the underage girl loving teddy bear having sweat free Andrew who thinks we should all forget about his sick needs or perhaps focus on why Wooly Peg is a racist and would rather live with his baby mama slash mistress and not his wet rag doormat insecure of a wife allegedly all that news over there and your focus on people in California who's minding their own business? Be gone, vultures. Be gone. Anywho, Harry's cousin Eugenie was seen hanging out with the likes of Piss Morgan. And I'm not surprised. I tried to like her, but there was always something I didn't trust about her. And it's because she seems like one of those people who wants to have it both ways. And it's wishy-washy. You know, fake and phony. And me as a person who is all about peace, happiness, being you know, chilled, <laughs> I don't deal with people like that. So those who like Eugenie, how do you feel? I also sighed at her when she left Archie behind at the beach. <laughs> that was from episode six of Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries. Um... Amazing innocent? I don't know. I, I just felt the way. <laughs> I mean, come on. Or she could have been set up. I've read comments about her possibly being set up or, you know, she didn't know that he was going to be there. If her sister knew, but she didn't. Um, I mean, I definitely never trusted that other one. I don't even know her name. <laughs> uh so I'm not really surprised about her but uh yeah um who knows possible I mean yeah yeah who knows the, the only people who know are them 
and based on the pictures is is not a good look moving on we got to see the beautiful Megan introduce her dear friend Nissan Harriman here's what his tweet said the Duchess of Sussex was kind enough to introduce me onto the stage for my TED talk thank you for your support Meg and he wrote that Monday the Duchess of Sussex introduced the photographer, entrepreneur, and social activist via video before his recent TED Talk. Our next speaker has an unmatched eye for a good photograph. I've experienced his talent firsthand as he has captured many meaningful milestones for me and my family. And I know there are many others who share in this experience. His lens has photographed everything from events that have changed the world, invisible moments we all desperately needed to see, along with some of the planet's most recognizable faces. But this was not always his path, and you might be surprised to hear not who, but what he credits for his success. I am so thrilled to welcome to the TED stage my dear friend, Miss Ann Harriman. Harriman, who took some of the most circulated photos of the Black Lives Matter movement and serves as chair of the South Bank Center in London, thanked Megan for the words of support. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have turned to Harriman to capture important milestones before, from the 2021 pregnancy announcement to Princess Lilibet's first birthday photos in June 2022. Harriman and his family were guests at Lily's Frogmore Cottage Party. And this is what it meant. When I said at the beginning of the podcast that Megan isn't thinking about those fools across the pond. She's living in the present, focusing on her life with her family and closest friends. Pa! Pa! What in the bloody hell are you calling my name like that, boy? You threw me under the bus with exposing me. What? Now the world knows that it was I who questioned Archie's skin color. You made it quite obvious with that spontaneous selfie with that, um, what's her name? Uh, I don't care. Tampon, baby. The International Rocks of Tampons wants to sponsor the coronation. Oh, hello, William. So, what are you going to do about it? Who do you think you are, King? I'm not doing a dumb thing. What? I am pissed. Oh, what is it huh? now? Guess who pushed me off the cover of all the papers? Let me guess. Me, me, Megan. What's new? I showed up empty handed at that event earlier. And what event that was for? I don't care. I just wanted to show off my new face. The Botox in it did well this time, did you think? <laughs> I but one of my alleged children out of woodlock that she showed up empty handed. That before, so shut up, really. Ha ha ha. to show her face at all. And her hair, it's so sleek. Her skin is so tan. It's called melanin, Kate. And why does she look so perfect? Oh, I hate her. And she said no to my invitation. To my bloody coronation. Nobody cares about your bloody coronation. I'm tired of hearing about it. Then get out of my truck. <gasps> I got my utility back. The plan worked. Ha ha. This calls for a celebration. I think I may need a drink as well. Bottoms up. <gasps> oh? Are the family drunks? How convenient. Guess I'll call up the fell in the mirror. All of you, out of my office, at once. And that's all for this podcast. No, it isn't. I lied. <laughs> and just as I was about to upload this video, I took a peek at Twitter and I see Harry and Meghan at the Lakers game last night wow that's amazing <laughs> and it looks like that they brought their staff with them as well and from the sounds of it cheers no booze this sight as usual 
but they look so good and yeah they went to see true royalty by the way king lebron james and the la lakers so it was wonderful to see uh, our our besties now <laughs> it was really good to see harry and megan uh, as well as her staff actual staff so wonderful for that and i love that outfit it's so springy and summery actually really love the pink on megan and of course they're not following the uk media the uk media is following them and and once again the uk media has egg on their face looking foolish out here in these streets i'm <laughs> seeing harry and megan receiving all that love out there from the people from fellow americans because we love them here we love harry and megan uh despite what false fake news over there says it's not even news it's just it's, <clears throat> it's just tabloid garbage so anywho they look amazing happy thriving living their best lives and minding their own business in the process <laughs> with cheers and shout out to the squatties and squatty allies and squatty sympathizers and you know people who like Harry and Megan. <laughs> shout out to all of you for sharing these wonderful pictures and uh, videos. It's just a wonderful thing to wake up to this morning. <laughs> Did you hear my voice? Now that's all for this podcast. <laughs> And I hope that your days are filled with blue skies, sunshines, with positive vibes. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, join the membership. I have the link inside the description box. My name is Deanna, and you are watching Private with the Sassicists. Talk to you soon.